Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Jesse Mayfield Chan. I'm here live at Schlunt's Gym on the campus of Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts. I'm here to cover today's afternoon boys basketball game between the Warriors of Brookline High School and the Rebels of Walpole High. Brookline in their third game of a four-game home trip. They're coming off of three straight wins, including one on the road. Their current three-game win streak consists of a 73-59 win on the road against Wellesley on January 7th, a 75-62 win at home against Natick High on January 8th in another afternoon game, and most recently, a 79-61 win over Newton South High here at home at Schlunt's Gym in an exciting Friday night game where they trailed for most of it, came back and took the lead at the end of the third quarter, and then blew out the Lions in the fourth quarter by a 15-point margin to finish with a blowout win. So Brookline with a lot of momentum covering, coming in, an 8-2 record, and a perfect 3-0 mark at home. Walpole not coming in with as impressive a record. 1-9 overall. Currently in the midst of a 7-game losing streak dating back to December 20th. So, not the strongest competition that Brookline has faced this season. But a game is a game. You can't look past any opponent. So we'll take a quick look at Walpole before we get this game started. The Rebels coming in with three seniors on their roster. Jack Magane, Neil Gallagher, and Drew Van Klock. So once again, Brookline with the uh, advantage and experience coming in with a roster of eight seniors, including their entire starting lineup of co-captains Ben Murray and Ben Ordonez, forward Jamari Jones, guard Bryce Burke, and forward Lucio Dalstead brown The youth strong with the Rebels as they come in with a total of six sophomores and six juniors, as uh, seven juniors make that, as compared to just their three seniors. The Brookline Warriors with a slight change to their usual starting lineup, uh, bringing in senior forward Miles Avalon in place of Jamari Jones. Meanwhile, on the other side, Walpole starting a young lineup with just one senior, Drew Van Klock, along with two sophomores, TJ Farrell and Ryan King, and two juniors, Hyder Farage and Brian Malone. So, Miles Avalon set to take the tip off for Brookline after regaining a spot in the starting lineup following a very impressive outing last Friday night against Newton South. He'll be taking the tip off against TJ Farrell from Walpole. Here's the tip, and it's won by Walpole. Ball is taken up by number five, Brian Malone. He passes over to number 22. That is Drew Van Klock. He gives it back over to Malone in the wing. He pulls up from three, no good. Rebound, Ben Murray. Ben Murray bringing up the ball. He chucks it across to Avalon. Avalon keeps it inbounds, throws it back out to Murray at the top. Murray over to Bryce Burke, and then pass over to Lucio Dulstep Brown. He fires from three, and nothing but net. Dulstep Brown gets the scoring started as Brookline comes out in a press to start the game. Brian Malone trying to control the ball, get it across half court. He gets stuck, passes it over to number 21. That was Ryan King, who then kicks it out to 25, Hyder Farage, then kicks it back to Malone. Malone gets into trouble, tries to pass out over to Farage. Farage manages to pass out of a uh, scenario there, double coverage, chucks it over to Ryan King, and King buried the layup. So 3-2 to two now the score in favor of Brookline. Ordonez brings the ball, gives it over to Dalstep Brown. Dalstep Brown passes up to Burke in the, uh, at the top. He gives it over to Ben Murray on the wing. Murray drives in, puts up the shot, no good, but he fights for the offensive board. Passes it back out to Burke. Burke fires a three, no good. This time it's rebounded by Haidar Farage for Walpole. Brian Malone bringing the ball up for Walpole. Looking for the opening, slips a little, gives it over to Farage on the wing. Farage passes it down low to Farrell inside. Farrell goes for the layup. 
and he puts it in. Nice post work against Miles Avalon. Ben Ordonia is bringing up the ball for Brookline as they now trail Walpole 4-3. Ordonius passes over to Murray on the left wing. He swings it over to Dulcet Brown on the right wing. Dulcet Brown dribbles back to the center, hands off to Ordonius. Ordonius drives inside and collides with Farage, who took the charge. That'll be a foul on Ordonius. First foul of the game will be an offensive foul. Some good defensive fundamentals by Farage down below. Inbound to Farage, given back to King. King trying to bring up the ball. He gives it over to number 22, Van Klock. Van Klock passes it back to Malone, and he gets hacked a bit by Ben Ardonez, and Ardonez with two quick fouls. That's his second foul, and uh, he gets subbed out for Devani Perez. Van Klock looking for the inbound for Walpole. He gives it to Farage, then hands it back to Van Klock. Van Klock passes it over to King on the wing. King puts it inside to Farage. Farage in triple coverage, and the ball gets taken away by Burke, recovered by Avalon. Pass ahead to Perez, then over to Burke. Burke goes for the layup, and this time it's going to be a blocking foul. Walpole's first foul of the day, and it's going to be against Brian Malone. Foul Brian Malone his first. Bryce Burke is at the line, shooting two. So Bryce Burke will be taking two shots after he missed the attempted layup in transition there after a nice defensive play. Burke puts up the first, and it rolls in. 4-4 four four now, the score with 5.45 remaining in the first period. Burke puts up the second free throw, and it's good. 5-4 to four now, the score after a pair of free throws by Bryce Burke. The inbound is to King. King trying to dribble it across half court, almost lost control of it, but he gets it across half court. Almost dribbles off his foot. Gives it over to Von Klock in the corner. Von Klock drives, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Burke. He passes it ahead to Perez in transition. Perez with the easy layup. Some heads up moves in transition by Brookline. They're now ahead 7 to 4. Brian Malone bringing up the ball for Walpole. Dribbles to his right, then passes it over to Von Klock on the wing. Von Klock trying to dribble around. And I think he's going to draw the defensive foul on Bryce Burke. Burke was trying to keep pace with Von Klock as he tried to dribble around him and just a little too much contact. That'll be Burke's first foul, Brookline's third. Von Klock inbounds to Ryan Malone. Malone steps back, tries to fire a three. It might have been blocked by Perez, but the air ball is recovered by TJ Farrell. Farrell posts up and puts it in. 7-6 now the score. Devani Perez brings up the ball for Brookline. He gives it over to Burke. Pass over to Dulstep Brown. Dulstep Brown fires from three. It's good. Second three-pointer of the game for Dulstep Brown. He hits it from the right wing. Brian Malone brings it across half court for Walpole. He gives it over to King. King tries to dribble around a pick, but he loses control of the ball. It's picked up by Avalon. Pass to hit Dulstep Brown, then over to Murray in transition. Murray for the layup, and it's good. 12-6 now the score in favor of Brookline. Ryan King brings up the ball for Walpole. He passes over to Brian Malone. Malone starts to dribble inside, hits traffic. Ball is poked away by Dulcet Brown, then poked away again by Perez, but they're going to call a foul, and they're going to call the foul on Malone. And we have a substitution for Brookline. Abraham Richardson comes in replacing Miles Avalon after a nice defensive play by Lucio Dulcet Brown and Devani Perez. Ball is inbounded to Ben Murray, then given over to Bryce Burke, up top to Richardson, over to the wing to Perez, back to the top to Dulcet Brown, Dulcet Brown holding, puts up another three, this one no good. Rebound by Walpole's number three, that is Charles Nicholas. Nicholas now holding the ball at the top, dribbles to his left, floats it over to King, King takes a jumper, and it rolls in. 12 to 8 now the score in favor of Brookline. Ben Murray brings up the ball, kicks it out to Perez. Perez dribbles inside, then kicks it out to Richardson. Richardson swings it over to Burke on the right wing. Burke dribbles inside, hits it over to Ben Murray in the corner. Murray for three, he hits it. Three-pointer from Ben Murray from the left corner. It's now three threes on the quarter for Brookline. Malone, uh, no, that's Ryan King. Bring the ball across half court for Walpole. He tries to float a pass to Farrell. Intercepted 
by Abram Richardson. He passes back to Burke, who then sends it ahead to Ben Murray. Murray tries to dribble through traffic, and he manages to kick it over to Dulstep Brown in the corner. Dulstep Brown for three, no good. But Richardson tips the loose ball over to Burke, who then passes it over to Murray, over to Perez on the wing. Perez drives in, goes through some traffic, but cannot finish. Rebound by Von Clock. Von Clock dribbling in transition, trying to do it alone, and his fast break layup is rejected by Ben Murray. Von Clock was struggling to uh, dribble around some traffic there, and when he ultimately went for the layup off balance, Murray was there to say, uh, no, no, you're not going to do that. We have a couple of substitutions for Brookline. Andrew Mitchell and Theo Murray coming in for Lucio Dulstep brown and Devani Perez. Von Clock inbounding for Walpole. He gives it to Nicholas in the corner. Nicholas dribbles, stops, gives it inside to TJ Farrell. Farrell is double teamed. They're wrestling for the ball. And they're going to call a foul on Ben Murray. Ben Murray was trying to wrestle the ball away uh, from TJ Farrell. But unfortunately, he couldn't get all ball there and uh, force the jump ball. Instead, he gets a foul. Von Clock on the inbound. He gives it to Nicholas. Nicholas with the shot. Rim rolls and no good. Rebound, Theo Murray. Passes over to Burke. Burke sends it ahead to Richardson. Richardson for the layup. It's good. Abram Richardson off a nice pass across the court by Bryce Burke. And now it's 17 to 8 in favor of Brookline. Nicholas dribbling. And I think that's going to be a travel. It is. Nicholas jumped and tried to pass backwards, but he got blocked by uh, Ben Murray, I believe, who now subs out for Daniel Dalzell. So only one starter still on the floor for Brookline right now as Bryce Burke inbounds to Andrew Mitchell. Brookline with a handy 17-8 lead in this first quarter. And Mitchell gives it over to Richardson, fires from three, no good. Rebound by Nicholas, who then gets poked at by Andrew Mitchell. It's going to be a foul on Mitchell. Inbound from Von Clock over to Charles Nicholas. Nicholas dribbles it across half court. Nicholas dribbles to his left, trying to find an opening. Dribbles around a pick. He passes it in to, that was number 23, who then gives it over to Von Clock. Von Clock fires from three, no good. Rebound Mitchell. He gives it over to Dalzell. Dalzell starts running. He gets across half court, hits traffic. And now pass it up top to Theo Murray. Theo Murray starts to dribble in, kicks it out to Bryce Burke. Bryce Burke fakes, drives, goes for the floater, and it rolls in. 19 to eight, now the score in favor of Brookline after the nice floater by Bryce Burke. Von Clock bringing up the ball. He passes it over to Ryan King on the wing. Ryan King is poked away by Theo Murray, picked up by Richardson, who then floats it over to Theo Murray. Murray for the layup, it's good. 21 to eight, and Brookline is dominating early here. Charles Nicholas bringing it across half court for Walpole. He's holding it on the left wing. Dribbles back to the center. Floats it over to Von Clock. Von Clock goes for a fader, and he hits it. Drew Von Clock makes it 21 to 10, but Brookline's still leading. Andrew Mitchell trying to dribble inside. He hits traffic, but recovers. Tries to throw it out, out to the corner, but there was nobody there waiting for it. And we've got a substitution for Brookline after the out-of-bounds turnover. That'll be number five, Jack Altman, coming in for the final starter, Bryce Burke. Walpole with a substitution that brings in number 14. He inbounds to number 23, Jack Magane. Magane passes it over to King. King brings it across half court. He gives it over to number 14, that is Neil Flynn. Flynn holding the ball. He dribbles it back up top, then dribbles to his left, tries to go inside, hits traffic, gives it out to number 33, that is Gianluca Gonser, who then gives it over to Von Klock. Von Klock shoots, no good. Rebound Richardson, he gives it over to Altman. Altman quickly dribbles across half court, gives it over to Theo Murray on the wing, back up top to Altman, Altman for three, no good. Rebound by Flynn. Neil Flynn brings it up for Walpole. 12 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. Neil Flynn still holding. He gives it over to King in the right corner. Give and go over to Flynn. Flynn for the layup, no good. Rebound by Dalzell. Daniel Dalzell puts up the last second shot. Front rims it, no good. But Brookline with a dominant first quarter. The lead 21 to 10. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan here at Schlunt's Gym and I will be right back after a quick break. 
Hello and welcome back to Schlunt's Gym on the campus of Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan where the Brookline Warriors boys basketball team has a 21 to 10 lead over Walpole to start the second quarter. The inbound is to Daniel Dalzell of Brookline. He gives it over to Abram Richardson on the wing. Hands it over to Theo Murray in the corner. Thir Theo Murray dribbles around, puts up the shot, no good. Offensive board, Richardson, he kicks it back out to Murray. Murray two steps in and manages to draw the foul but just misses the layup. So, that's going to be on Jack McGain of Walpole. And Theo Murray goes to the line to shoot two. Murray hits his first free throw to make it 22 to 10 and give us the first point of the second quarter following Walpole's third foul of the half. The first foul of the game for Jack McGain. Murray goes up for the second free throw and it rolls out. Rebounded by Neil Flynn of Walpole who gives it over to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock brings it across half court, gives it over to Flynn on the wing. Flynn tries to dribble, hits traffic. He kicks it over to McGain. McGain dribbles inside, gets slightly deflected by Murray and the shot goes out. Loose ball recovered by Adrian Richardson. He runs, goes for the layup. No good, rebound Andrew Mitchell. Andrew Mitchell with the quick putback shot after Richardson dodged the charge take beautifully for an attempted layup but couldn't finish. Jack McGain brings it across for Walpole. He gives it over to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock over to Flynn. Flynn holding the ball, dribbles towards the corner. Tries to dribble back up center but he gets trapped. He dribbles around the trap and it looks like he's going to draw a foul from Theo Murray. Neil Flynn manages to dribble around the trap and draw a foul from Theo Murray, his first of the game. Sixth, sixth of the half for Brookline as Walpole subs in Haydar Farage. Inbound to Farage, given back to Von Klock. Von Klock holding the ball at the top. He just starts dribbling inside, hits traffic, hands it over to Farage. Farage tries to pass inside to a cutting Ryan King, but overthrew his man and it goes out of bounds. Brookline takes over with a 24-10 lead. Daniel Dalzell holding the ball as he brings it across half court. He passes it over to Jack Altman on the wing. Altman gives it up to Richardson at the top. Richardson passes over to Andrew Mitchell on the left wing, then passes it inside to Altman. Altman kicks it out to Dalzell at the top. Dalzell fires three, no good. Rebound, Farage. He gives it over to Von Klock. Von Klock brings it across half court. Passes over to McGain on the wing. McGain dribbles one way, goes the other way, inside and draws the foul from Richardson. Abram Richardson with his first foul of the game, Brookline seventh. So Walpole will now shoot the bonus. And it starts with a shooting foul from Jack McGain. He goes for the first and hits it. We have a couple of substitutions. Alex Socorro and Jamari Jones seeing the floor for the first time for Brookline, replacing Theo Murray and Abram Richardson. Second free throw from McGain is good. 24 to 12 now the score. The inbound to Daniel Dalzell. Dalzell brings the ball slowly across half court. Just over six minutes left in the half. He passes over to Altman on the wing. Altman gives it back up top to Jones, then over to Mitchell on the wing. Mitchell tries to float it inside to Socorro and deflected away by Ryan King, who then leaps for the ball and throws it off of Socorro to give the ball to Walpole. King inbounds to Farage. Farage gives over to Von Klock. Von Klock dribbles across, passes over to McGain. McGain brings it up top. Tries to dribble inside, then kicks out to Von Klock. Von Klock starts to dribble in, hits traffic, kicks it out to Farage. Farage sends it inside to Gonser. John Luca Gonser tries to pass it back, misses his man, and we have a backcourt violation. Eider Farage had to chase after that one after an errant pass from John Luca Gonser. And now it's a turnover, and Brookline gets the ball. 5.40 to go in the half. Brookline leads 24 to 12. Jack Altman with the inbound. He sends it into Alex Socorro. Socorro hits the layup. Alex Socorro makes it 26 to 12. 
Ball is inbounded to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock dribbles across half court. Continues dribbling, kicks it over to, McG to McGain in the corner. McGain dribbles back towards the top, then kicks it over to Farage in the corner. Farage for the three, he hits it. Adar Farage hits a three pointer. Andrew Mitchell brings it up, passes over to Socorro. Socorro dribbles around, uh, towards the hoop, then kicks it over to Mitchell. Mitchell was being double covered, and it looks like he drew a reach foul from Jean Luca Gonser. So that'll be his first, and the fourth for Walpole. And now TJ Farrell checks back in the game, replacing Gonser. Altman for the inbound. He gives it up top to Andrew Mitchell. Kicks it over to Dalzell in the corner. Dalzell back up to ooh, Andrew Mitchell. Andrew Mitchell travels. Didn't dribble quick enough for, uh, before he took a couple steps, and Andrew Mitchell turns the ball over on a traveling call. Ryan King inbounding for Walpole. The inbound is deflected, but still caught by Drew Von Klock. Von Klock brings it across half court. He's now looking for an opening. He passes it over to McGain on the wing, who floats it down to Farage. Farage can't quite handle it. Loose ball. They're wrestling for it. And we're going to get a jump ball. Hater Farage, TJ Farrell, and Daniel Dalzo were all wrestling for that ball. And ultimately, no one definitively came up with it. They give it a jump ball, and the possession arrow is in Walpole's direction. And the officials talk to the board operators to put 13 on the shot clock as Drew Von Klock in, set to inbound. He gives it to Hader Farage. Farage puts up the instant shot. No good. Picked up by Jamari Jones, who passes it ahead to Jack Altman. Altman, looking for a way to dribble around his defender, tries to pass, and it hits the bottom of the hoop, and is picked up by T.J. Farrell. Farrell passes it over to Von Klock. Von Klock brings up the ball. Dribbles to his right, then gives it over to McGain on the wing. McGain, looking for an opening himself, has to stop. Hands it over to Hader Farage. Farage almost gets trapped in the corner, but passes it out to McGain. Then up top to Von Klock. Over to Ryan King on the wing. King fires for three and hits it. 26 to 18, the Brookline lead now after that three-pointer. Dalzell brings the ball up, gives it over to Socorro. Socorro for three, no good. Offensive rebound, Jack Altman. Altman dribbles outside, then gives it out to Jamari Jones on the wing. Jones back over to Altman. Altman fires for three. No good. A battle for the board, but it's grabbed by Farrell. Given over to Von Klock. Von Klock dribbling in transition. He puts up a jumper. No good. Rebound by Dalzell. And we have a timeout called by Brookline. 3.39 left to go in the period, and Brookline with a 26-18 lead over Walpole. Seven team fouls so far for Brookline, as Walpole is currently shooting the bonus the next time they get fouled. Meanwhile, Walpole has only committed four fouls thus far. We haven't seen much of the starting lineup so far this game, after they subbed out in the first quarter one by one. But now Brookline coach Courtney Valentine talking to his starters, so they might be coming back in. Meanwhile, Walpole getting their advice from uh, head coach Oliver Vill. And we get ready to come out of the timeout. And yes, all of the starters check back in for Brookline. That's Ben Murray, Ben Ordonez, Bryce Burke, Lucio Dahlstedt Brown, and Miles Avalon. So back to the all senior lineup after some of the youngsters and bench players got a good chance for much of the second quarter. For Walpole, they come back out with what appears to be their starting lineup with one slight change with McGain in, alongside Ryan King, Drew Von Klock, TJ Farrell, and Hader Farage. Ben Murray quickly brings the ball across half court. He drives in by himself, goes for the layup, and it's good. Ben Murray makes it look too easy on that one, takes it by himself, and weaves around the defenders for a layup, 28-18. T.J. Farrell holds the ball. He gives it over to Ryan King on the wing for Walpole. King dribbles back up top, then gives it over to McGain on the right wing. 
McGain holds the ball, then gives it up top to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock dribbles, he passes inside to TJ Farrell. Farrell for the turnaround, it looks like it was slightly deflected. Loose ball picked up by Dahlstedt Brown, then given over to Ben Murray. Back to Dahlstedt Brown. Dahlstedt Brown almost loses control of the ball, but he recovers. Gives it over to Ben Ordonez in the corner. Ordonez gives it up top to Miles Avalon. Over to Ben Murray on the wing. Murray for three, hits it! Nothing but net from the left wing for Ben Murray. I believe that's his second three of the day so far. Hader Farage brings up the ball for Walpole. He tries to hand it off to Von Klock, but it's poked away by Bryce Burke. Bryce Burke now running in transition. He goes for the lay-in, and it rolls in. Bryce Burke with a nice layup after a heads-up steal on the defensive side. The inbound drew Von Klock. Von Klock then chucks it ahead to McGain, but McGain could not handle it. And so after Jack McGain lost control of that deep pass, Brookline gets the ball back. So a successful full-court press there by Brookline as the starters bring back the press defense. Ben Murray now slowly bringing up the ball for Brookline. 33 to 18 the score, 2.15 to go. Ben Murray holding it on the left wing. He passes up top to Burke. Burke fakes, drives inside, goes for the layup. No good, but he draws the foul from TJ Farrell, who did not get set. So that'll be the first foul of the game for TJ Farrell. Fifth of the half for Walpole. And Bryce Burke goes to the line to shoot two. Burke hits his first. And Charles Nicholas checks into the game for Walpole, replacing Ryan King. Brookline on an 8-0 run since the starters checked back in, and Bryce Burke puts up another free throw and makes the run 9-0. 35-18 the score. Nicholas bringing up the ball for Walpole. Dribbles to his left, stops, passes it over to Farage. Farage grabs it, dribbles inside, goes for the layup, and hits it. Ben Murray chucks it ahead to Bryce Burke. Burke goes for the layup, no good though, and rebounded by McGain. McGain now dribbling across half court. Only Avalon to beat, he goes for the layup, no good. Rebound, Ben Murray, he passes up. Lucio Dulcet Brown all by himself, and he tries to jam it, no good. The dunk goes out, but it's rebounded by Ardonez, given back to Ben Murray who then swings it over to Bryce Burke. Burke fakes, tries to drive inside, and then goes for the pass to nobody, but it looks like it was deflected out of bounds. Brookline will maintain possession. Those are the kind of plays that drive coaches crazy, where you go for the slam dunk and it just does not go. Dahlstedt Brown inbounds to Ben Ordonez. Ordonez holds the ball, gives it back to Dahlstedt Brown. Dahlstedt Brown dribbles, pulls up for the jumper. It's good. So Dahlstedt Brown redeems for the missed dunk with a jumper. 37 to 20, now the score. Hader Farage now brings it across half court for Walpole. And now he's suddenly double covered. A sneaky play by Bryce Burke as he comes up from behind him, grabs hold of the ball, and forces the jump ball. And number five, Brian Malone, checks into the game, repa replacing Drew Von Klock for Walpole. And we have another substitution. Number 11. Pat Flynn comes in replacing Hader Farage as Brookline gets the ball following the jump ball. Dahlstedt Brown inbounds to Ordonez. Ordonez brings it slowly up, gives it over to Bryce Burke on the right wing. He passes it back up top to Miles Avalon. Over to the left corner to Ordonez. Ordonez drives inside, hits traffic, tries to kick it out to Burke for a three pointer, but Ordonez drew the foul before he could make the pass. That's going to be the second Six. foul of the game for T.J. Farrell. Six of the half for Walpole. Dahlstedt Brown for the inbound. He gives it out to Ben Murray. 50 seconds left. Ben Murray goes inside, goes for another twist around layup, and he hits it. Ben Murray still making things look too easy. 39 to 20 as Malone brings it across half court for Walpole. He looks to his right, then dribbles to his left, tries to pass, intercepted Ben Murray. Ben Murray on the run, and he goes for the simple finger roll layup. And Ben Murray hits another layup, 41 to 20 now the score. Brookline is more than doubled up Walpole, and an out-of-bounds pass as Nicholas tried to hit Malone, and it deflects off Malone and out-of-bounds. Malone was not ready. 24 seconds left, Dulcet Brown inbounds to Ordonez. Ordonez comes across half court, passes over to Burke, over to Dulcet Brown, back up to Burke. Burke looking for a dribbling lane, can't find it, gives it over to Ben Murray. Murray holding the ball with 11 seconds, pass over to Ordonez. Ordonez 
starts dribbling, hits traffic. He's trying to get through by himself. He gets he hits too much traffic, does not draw the foul. Jack McGain runs, tries to check it from half court, no good, and that's the end of the first half. So Brookline, having more than doubled up the Walpole Rebels, the Warriors now hold a 41 to 20 lead as we go into the break for halftime. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan here at Schlunt's Gym, and I will be back with the third quarter of play. Hello and welcome back to Schlunt's Gym on the campus of Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts. My name is Jesse Mayfield Sheehan and we're getting ready for the second half of what has been a blowout boys basketball game so far this uh, Tuesday afternoon. The Brookline Warriors holding a 41 to 20 lead over the Walpole Rebels with the respective records they brought in 8 to 2 for Brookline. Uh, eight and two, I should say, and one and nine for Walpole. Not an unexpected result, but still a strong two quarters of play across the board for Brookline. Leading the way, senior co-captain Ben Murray uh, making it look easy with 17 first half points, including, wait, five and six, three, make that 14 first half points. That includes a block, a rebound, and a steal. So 14 first half points for Ben Murray, including two three-pointers in the first half. He is followed on the score sheet by Bryce Burke, who thus far has eight points on the day, plus a steal and a rebound, uh, as well as Lucio Dulcet Brown, who has eight points, including two three-pointers in the first quarter. Theo Murray uh, had three points plus a steal. Um, we have two points plus two steals and two boards for Abram Richardson. And Alex Socorro with two points off the bench as well. And that seems to round out the scoring for Brookline. Uh, my mistake, I missed one. Two points for Devani Perez as well, and that rounds out the first half scoring for Brookline. Ben Murray leading the way with 14, followed by eight from Dahlstedt, Brown, and Burke. And then no one else scored as much as five. On the other side with Walpole, leading the way is Ryan King with seven points, followed by five from Haydar Farage, then four from TJ Farrell, and two each from Jack McGain and Drew Von Klock. So no one has reached double figures so far for Walpole in what has been a rather one-sided contest so far. I think Walpole held a lead after the first couple of baskets, four to three, but I don't think they have led since. Brookline just sort of took off and uh, showed why they're the team with the winning record and Walpole's the one with the losing record. A dominant showing, and so far Brookline seems to be firing on all cylinders, particularly when the starters come out. The team had an eight point lead, 26 to 18, when all the starters checked back into the game in the second quarter and simply took off. A 9-0 run to start. And they finished the half with a 41 to 20 lead. So only two points after that, after that mass check-in for the starters. So eight of Walpole's 10 points in the second quarter came prior to the starters checking back in. That just shows the different level that the uh, starting rotation Brookline has is on. We've seen a number of nice defensive plays. A really good block by Ben Murray, a couple of heads up moves uh, for steals by guys like Bryce Burke and Abram Richardson, who's having a solid game off the bench defensively and offensively as well with a couple of nice offensive boards to keep his team's possessions going. We're less than a minute away from the start of the third quarter and we'll see what lineups the teams decide to open the quarter with this time. Brookline has opened each quarter with two very different lineups. 
going all starters in the first quarter and all backups in the second to start the period. Just about 30 seconds left. As the coaches give their last words to the players, Courtney Valentine, the coach for Brookline, and Oliver Bill, the coach for Walpole. It looks like we'll have the starters coming back out onto the floor for Brookline. So that'll be Ben Murray, Ben Ordonez, Bryce Burke, Lucio Dulstedt Brown, and Miles Avalon. Ben Murray, of course, the game's high scorer thus far with 14 first half points. While Dahlstedt, Brown, and Burke have eight each. Starting uh, the second half for Walpole will be Ryan King, Drew Von Klock, Brian Malone, TJ Farrell, and Hader Farage. King looking to inbound to start the second half. He gives it to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock goes across half court, gives it over King. King is now trapped. He tries to dribble outside of the trap, but it looks like they're going to call an out of bounds and give it back to Walpole. A little confused about what happened there, but regardless, King inbounds to Farage, handed back to King. King passes it over to Von Klock on the wing, passes it inside down low to Farrell. Farrell goes for the turnaround shot and he hits it. DJ Farrell with some nice post moves there. Ben Ordonez brings up the ball for Brookline. He gives it over to Bryce Burke, over to Dahlstedt Brown. Dahlstedt Brown fakes, dribbles to the middle, and gives it back out to Burke for a three-pointer. No good. Offensive rebound to Avalon. He tries to give it out to Ordonez in the corner. Ordonez tried to save a slightly errant pass, but he couldn't do it. His foot hit the line, and so the ball will go back to Walpole. Inbound to Ryan King, given back to Farage. Farage bringing up the ball. He passes it over to Von Klock. Von Klock gets across half court. Von Klock looking for an option. He gives it over to Brian Malone. Malone tries to float it up. Caught by Farrell. And Farrell draws a foul before going for the shot. TJ Farrell. Oh, they're going to say the shot counted. Or no, they aren't. The, t the teams both line up for a free throw, but the refs insisting no, no, we go for an inbound. Miles Avalon's first foul, first of the half for either team. Von Klock inbounds to Farage. Farage holds the ball in the corner, looking for a passing option. He chucks it over to the left wing, over to Von Klock. Von Klock dribbles in, kicks it out to Brian Malone. Brian Malone fires a three, no good, but offensive rebound by Farrell. And it looks like he might have drawn a foul in the battle for the loose ball. It's going to be another foul on Avalon, so Miles Avalon with two quick fouls as he struggles to battle against TJ Farrell early in the second half. Von Klock looking for the inbound for Walpole. He gives it to he gives it to Farrell or tries to, but it's deflected out of bounds, and they're gonna say the ball stays with Walpole. Farrell tried to cut to the inside to the right side of the basket. Von Klock tried the pass, but it didn't work. Now Von Klock inbounds to King. King puts up a three, air balls it, picked up by Bryce Burke. Burke brings it across half court, swings it over to Murray in the center. Murray dribbles in, gives it over to Miles Avalon. Avalon with the layup after a nice pump fake following some nice ball movement by Brookline. Hadar Farage brings it across half court for Walpole. He tries to chuck a pass. It loses control. At first, I thought it was picked up by Ben Ardonez, but then it was touched by Ryan King out of bounds. So a nice reach to uh, knock the ball off course by Ben Ordonez, and they still get the ball back. Ben Murray brings up, brings up the ball. Pass over to Dahlstedt Brown, then over to Burke in the corner, back up top to Ben Murray. Ben Murray starts to dribble inside. He starts to lose the ball, but he dives after it. And now it's picked up by Avalon in the ensuing chaos. He passes over to Ordonez. Ordonez tries to drive in, and it looks like he drew a foul. That's going to be on Brian Malone. Some real hustle by Ben Murray. His team is up by 21 points, and yet when he almost lost the ball on a turnover, he dove for it. That's what you want to see from a co-captain. Lucio Dulcet Brown looking for the inbound. He gives it over to Ben Ordonez on the right wing. Ordonez dribbles, gives it over to Bryce Burke on the left. Burke over to Murray in the corner. Murray dribbles, gives it to an open Miles Avalon who hits the jumper just inside the three-point line. Six minutes to go in the quarter. It's 45 to 22, Brookline. Ryan King brings up the ball for Walpole. Gives it over to Brian Malone. Malone tries to pass it inside to Farrell. Farrell hits, gets a double cover, passes out to Malone. Malone shoots, no good. Rebound by Murray. He gives it to a wide open Ben Ordonez who practically walks to the hoop for a layup. 
47 to 22. Now the score in favor of Brookline. Ordonez's first basket of the game is way too easy. Walpole now with the ball. Farrell passes over to Malone and it's blocked again by Ben Murray. Could Ben Murray make this look any easier? As we now have a mass substitution, all starters coming out, and instead we have Theo Murray, Alex Socorro, Devani Perez, Daniel Dalzell, and Andrew Mitchell checking in for Brookline. Ball is inbounded over to Ryan King. King holding it on the right wing. He starts dribble inside. He goes for an awkward left-handed layup. It rolls out, picked up by Perez. Perez dribbling in transition. He gets across half court, gives it over to Mitchell on the right side. Mitchell holding the ball. He starts to dribble into the key, kicks it out to Theo Murray. Theo Murray dribbles inside, and he draws the foul from TJ Farrell, who tried to come over to help as Theo Murray was starting to beat his man on the dribble there. They're going to say it wasn't on the shot, but that's TJ Farrell's third foul of the game. Jack McGain checks in to replace, to replace TJ Farrell. Devonnie Perez inbounds over to Dalzell on the wing. Dalzell holding the ball. Dribbles towards the center. Gives it over to Theo Murray on the left wing. Back up top to Devani Perez. And over to Mitchell on the left wing. Back up top to Perez. Perez dribbles, pulls up. Shot no good. Offensive rebound, Theo Murray. Murray fighting to look for an opening. He puts up the layup and it's good. Theo Murray saying, hey, I might not I'll make it look easy, but I still make the basket. So now we have Brian Malone holding the ball for Walpole. He dribbles to his right, gives it over to Vaughn Clock. Vaughn Clock dribbling around, looking for an opening of his own. He passes down low to Gonser. Jean-Luca Gonser goes for the layup, and he hits it. 49 to 24 now the score. Devani Perez brings up the ball, gives it over to Dalzell on the left wing. Dalzell starts to dribble inside, hits traffic, kicks it out to Devani Perez, then over to Mitchell. Mitchell drives in, kicks it out to Perez. Perez for three, no good. Rebound, Gonser. Gonser gives it over to Von Klock, who brings it across half court for Walpole. Von Klock pulls up for three, rim rolls out. Rebound scooped up by Mitchell. Mitchell now running across the court. He tries to go around the charge, but he can't get around it. That'll be a charging foul on Andrew Mitchell as Von Klock took the charge for Walpole. And now Drew Von Klock will check out of the game in favor of Charles Nicholas. Now Nicholas will inbound the ball against a full court press from Brookline. Nobody hanging back. He inbounds to Ryan King. King starts dribbling around. He gets it across half court, despite some on the ball defense from Devani Perez. King starts to dribble inside, pulls up for a jumper, or nothing but net. 49 to 26 the score, with just under 3.40 to go in the quarter. Perez gives it over to Socorro. Socorro pulls up, and a nice rim and backboard bounce, and Alex Socorro gets the bucket. 51 to 26 now the score. Inbound to Nicholas. Nicholas dribbling against Mitchell, trying to find an opening, almost loses control of it. And then he has to float the pass over to Brian Malone across half court. Malone gives it over to Nicholas on the left wing. Nicholas passes inside to Gonser. Gonser almost loses control of the pass. He has to throw it away in desperation. It's knocked away by Theo Murray, picked up by Dalzell. Dalzell on the run. A smart pass over to Socorro. And Socorro hits the layup in transition. Smart pass by Dalzell to avoid the possible charge. Ryan King brings up the ball. He tries to give it over to Malone and it's poked away by Devani Perez. Perez on the run. He goes for a layup, banks it in. Back-to-back -back steals and back-to-back fast -back break lay-ins for Brookline. And oh my gosh, another steal. This time it's Andrew Mitchell. Mitchell for another layup and it rolls out. Nicholas with the rebound after losing the steal. Brian Malone it gets the pass, dribbles inside, kicks it out to King, then over to Nicholas, then swings it over to McGain. McGain dribbles inside, goes for the shot. No good, rebound, Theo Murray. Murray floats it up to Perez in transition. Perez then passes inside to Murray. Murray goes inside and hits the shot. Nicholas inbounds to Brian Malone. Malone brings it up, fires from three, no good. And we've got an over the back call on Jack McGain as he went over Andrew Mitchell. Brookline with uh, some really nice defensive sequences as we have Abram Richardson and Jack Altman checking into the game for Alex Socorro and Devani Perez, both of whom got some nice fast break buckets in a sequence of three consecutive steals by Brookline. 
Daniel Dalzo bringing up the ball. He throws it over to Jack Altman on the wing. Back up top to Theo Murray. Murray drives in, kicks it out to Dalzo. Dalzo with an open jumper. He hits it. Ball is inbounded to Ryan King. Ryan King trying to go fast. Gets it across half court. King gives it over to Von Klock on the wing. Von Klock dribbles around a pick. He's back up top. He gives it over to McGain. McGain passes it inside. I believe that's TJ Farrell who then kicks it out to McGain. McGain for three. Air balls it. And they're going to say it deflected off of Brookline. Andrew Mitchell did not expect an air ball. He was trying to box out his man. And instead the ball bounces off of him and goes out of bounds. 59-26 still the score. Von Klock looking to inbound with 131 left in the quarter. He finds McGain. McGain passes it up top. Pass it up top to King, but then the pass from King is deflected, picked up by Jack Altman. Altman spins, goes for a layup, no good. Offensive rebound, Richardson. Richardson with the putback, no good. Richardson gets his own rebound and battles for the layup and puts it in. Abram Richardson fighting for it, and he draws the foul. And some excitement from the Brookline side. And even the PA announcer is not sure who just came in for Brookline. It's number 34. He's not on the roster. At least not the roster they were handing out at the beginning of the game. Abram Richardson for the end one, and he makes it 62 to 26. The blowout score, as we heard, chants from the Brookline bench of We Want Braintree. Ryan King dribbles across half court. He gives it over to Von Klock. Von Klock dribbles to his right, spins, goes for the jumper, blocked by Dalzell. But the loose ball is picked up by Von Klock, and he puts up the jumper, and it's good. 62 to 28, now the score in favor of Brookline. Andrew Mitchell brings up the ball, gives it over to Altman on the wing. Altman dribbles, pass over to 34, 34 puts up the shot, no good. Abram Richardson with the putback. Richardson with a couple of nice offensive boards in this quarter. Jack McGain holding the ball. He's not across half court. Passes it over to Haider Farage. Haider Farage almost commits the backcourt, but manages to get it over to Von Klock. Von Klock almost lost the ball back across half court, but he recovered. And then passes it over to Ryan King on the right wing. The ball is poked away by Richardson. The loose ball is still going, and they're still fighting for it. It's picked up behind backcourt by Farage, who then passes it ahead to King. Over to Gonser. Gonser goes for the shot. It's blocked again by Dalzell. Loose ball picked up this time by Andrew Mitchell. They got a, they're got they running out of clock. Altman holding the ball. Three, two, one. Altman puts up the three. No good. Abram Richardson tried to do the quick putback, but couldn't do it after yet another offensive board. That will end the third quarter. 64 to 28, the blowout score in favor of Brookline as they are giving everyone a chance to play. Even guys so far down the depth chart that I didn't see them on the roster when I came in. So Brookline's starting to pull away. Everybody's finding their game. 64 to 28 the score. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. I will be right back with the fourth quarter of play. Hello and welcome back to Schlunt's Gym on the campus of Brookline High School. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan, where the Brookline Warriors boys basketball team leads Walpole 64 to 28 and starts this fourth quarter. The inbound to Daniel Dalzell, who gives it over to Andrew Mitchell on the wing. Back over to Dalzell. Dalzell pulls up for three, hits it! Daniel Dalzell, Daniel Dalzell hits a three-pointer. And a couple of starters rising up off their seats to celebrate their backup's basket. Drew Von Klock brings it up for Walpole. He gives it over, and then it's passed back to Von Klock. Von Klock then passes it in. Driving in is number 11, Pat Flynn, who then gives it out to Von Klock, who hits the three-pointer. 67 to 31 now the score. Dalzo brings it across half court, gives over to Mitchell, then over to Jack Altman on the wing. Altman holds it, gives it up top to Abram Richardson. Richardson tries to pass to Dalzell. It's picked off by Drew Von Klock. Von Klock runs, tries to go for the fast break layup. Does not hit it, but it looks like we've got a foul on Abram Richardson, who was flying, looking for the block. Drew Von Klock will be going for two free throws after Richardson's second foul of the game. Brookline's fourth of the half. Von Klock's free throw rests on the back rim for a bit, but then rolls in. 67 to 32 now the score. Both teams with four fouls this half. Von Klock puts in another free throw. This one easily goes in. 
67 to 33, the score in the first minute of the fourth quarter. Andrew Mitchell brings it up for Brookline. Mitchell looking for an opening. He kicks it over to Dalzell. Dalzell fakes, dribbles to his left, hits traffic, kicks it out to Altman on the wing. Altman passes over to Adrian Richardson in the corner. Richardson kicks it over to Dalzell on the right wing. Dalzell passes up top to Jack Altman and over to Richardson on the wing. Richardson dribbles, backs up, fires from three, no good. Rebound by Jean-Luc Gonser, but we've got a foul on Brookline. That's uh, Miles Fenty, and he has to check out of the game along with Abram Richardson and Andrew Mitchell as Devani Perez, Theo Murray, and Alex Socorro check back into the game for Brookline. Drew Von Klock bringing up the ball for Walpole. Von Klock dribbles to his right, looking for an opening. He gives it over to Neil Flynn. Neil Flynn holding the ball. Start, and he tries to float out a pass, intercepted by Dalzell. Dalzell on the run. Fast break lay-in, and it's good. Heads up play by Daniel Dalzell, who's had a couple of nice plays this quarter. Ball being bring, brought up by Neil Flynn. Neil Flynn then gives it over to Pat Flynn on the wing. Pat Flynn gives it up to Drew Von Klock. Von Klock over to Neil Flynn. Neil Flynn drives inside, puts up the layup, and it's good. 69 to 35, the score in favor of Brookline. Giovanni Perez brings the ball across half court, gives over to Altman on the wing. Altman swings it over to Murray. Theo Murray gives it over to Alex Socorro in the corner. Socorro fakes, dribbles, gives it to Altman. Altman for three, no good. Rebound, Von Klock. Von Klock quickly dribbles across half court. Pulls up for three, blocked by Dalzell. Loose ball recovered by Socorro. Socorro now running in transition. Socorro runs, goes for the shot, and commits the charge. Charge taken by Jean-Luc Gonser. A nice block by Dalzell, but it ends with a foul for Alex Socorro. That's the sixth foul of the half for Brookline. As Brian Malone now in the game brings up the ball for Walpole. He gives it over to Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn trying to dribble, almost gets the ball stolen, gives it inside to Hater Farage. Hater Farage goes for the shot, it's good. 69 to 37, now the score. Giovanni Perez brings it up, gives it over to Theo Murray on the wing, and over to Dalzell in the corner. Dalzell over to Theo Murray. Murray tries to pass over to Socorro, but misses, and it goes out of bounds. Inbound to Brian Malone. Malone swings it over to Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn shoots from the corner for three, no good. Grabs his own rebound, puts up the put back, no good. Another loose ball battle for the rebound. It's ultimately grabbed by Theo Murray. He chucks it ahead to Devani Perez. Perez goes for the fast break lay-in and hits it despite some heads up retreating defense by Neil Flynn and Brian Malone. Perez still hits the lay-in. 71 to 37 now the score. Brian Malone dribbles to his right. Goes around a pick and back to the middle. He floats up a pass to Gonser. Gonser has his pass tipped away, almost taken away, but he recovers, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound Perez. Perez hits a streaking Theo Murray who hits the layup. Theo Murray and Devani Perez connecting on back-to-back -back fast break baskets. Brian Malone dribbles, goes down low to Haydar Farage. Farage goes for the layup, no good. Defended by Socorro. Rebound, Jack Altman. Altman. Gives it to Dalzell, who goes across half court. Gives it over to Bonnie Perez on the wing. Perez passes inside to Socorro. Socorro goes for the shot, no good. Rebound by Neil Flynn. Flynn brings it across half court for Walpole. He tries to pass it out to the corner, intercepted by Alex Socorro. And he passes it ahead to Dalzell. And then Brookline calls timeout. Looks like we'll have a couple of substitutions for Brookline. And it looks like the lineup on the court is going to be Andrew Mitchell, Jack Altman, Abram Richardson, I think Daniel Dalzell, who is quickly getting a drink during the timeout. And yes, Daniel Dalzell will be playing, as well as number 34, whose name I have only managed to hear once thus far from the PA announcer, because his name is not on the lineup for this game, which is which just tells you just how far down the bench this team is going. 73 to 37, the dominant score in favor of Brookline. The starters have not played a minute of this fourth quarter. The inbound to Daniel Dalzell. 
Dalzell dribbles in, gives it to 34. 34 almost loses the ball, tries to get it away, intercepted by Neil Flynn. He chucks it ahead to Malone. Malone loses track of the pass, but he recovers. But now he's double teamed. He goes for the pass, and they're going to say that's a jump ball after Jack Altman stuffed him from behind. Pat Flynn will be inbounding for Walpole with 3.32 left in the game. Pat Flynn passes over to John Luca Gonser, who hits the layup, and it's good. 73 to 39, now the score. Andrew Mitchell comes across half court, gives it over to Altman. Altman chucks it over to 34 in the corner. 34 kicks it out to Dalzell on the wing. Dalzell dribbles to his right, looking for a passing option, gives it up top to Andrew Mitchell. Andrew Mitchell drives inside, hits traffic, goes for the layup, but draws the foul. Foul on Pat Flynn, his first team fifth. That's going to be the, line shooting two. the first foul of the game for Pat Flynn, fifth of the game for Walpole. Andrew Mitchell at the line, and he hits his first. 74 to 39, now the score in favor of Brookline. Mitchell puts up the free throw. No good, offensive rebound, 34, he goes for the putback. No good, and it's rebounded this time by Gonser. Gonser tries to pass it away to Neil Flynn. We got a loose ball, and it's picked up by 34 after poked away by eight. Richardson. Pass over to Altman, then over to Richardson in the corner. Back to Altman. Altman almost loses it. Altman holding the ball. He passes it over to Daniel Dalzell on the wing. Dalzell kicks it back up top to Mitchell. Then over to 34. 34 tries to go inside, kicks it out to Mitchell. Mitchell hits the three from the top. Three-pointer from Andrew Mitchell makes it 77 to 39 in favor of Brookline. Malone brings it across half court, hands off to Neil Flynn. Neil Flynn dribbles in, passes to Farage. Farage goes for the shot, and it rolls off the back rim and in. 77-41, and my mistake, it seems that was John Luca Gonser who hit that lay-in, according to the PA announcer. Daniel Dalzo brings the ball across half court, gives over to Abram Richardson, over to Jack Altman at the top. Altman dribbles. Passes inside to Mitchell, who catches it after the deflection. He passes up top to Altman. Over to Dalzell on the wing. Goes for three. No good. Rebound, Farage. Farage gives it over to Brian Malone. Malone brings it across half court. He starts to dribble to his left. He gives it back up top to Adar Farage. Farage tries to hand it off to Neil Flynn. He does. Flynn drives in, goes for the lay-in, and hits it. 77-43 to now the score with less than two minutes to play. Andrew Mitchell dribbles across over to Altman. And it looks like we've got a reach in foul on Neil Flynn and a couple of substitutions for Walpole as Charles Nicholas and Jack McGain check in, replacing Brian Malone and Haydar Farage. Jack Altman passes it to the backcourt to Daniel Dalzell. Dalzell dribbling against Nicholas, Nick and Dalzell gets a cross half court, tries to drive inside, but the ball is poked loose and picked up by Gonser, who passes ahead to Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn on the run, hits the layup. 77 to 45, now the score. Andrew Mitchell bringing up the ball for Brookline. Mitchell passes it over to Altman at the top. Altman dribbling to his left, gives it over to Richardson in the corner. Richardson passes it back up top to Mitchell. Mitchell tries to swing it over to 34 after a deflection. It's picked up by 34. Puts up the shot. Front rims it. No good. Rebound. Charles Nicholas. Nicholas gives it over to Neil to Pat Flynn, I should say. Pat Flynn's shot is rejected by Daniel Dalzell. Number of blocks for Brookline so far in this game. 52.7 seconds left in this game. 77 to 45. The score. Brookline will be getting its fourth straight win. The inbound pass gets away from Charles Nicholas and out of bounds and Brookline will take over. Brookline's record set to improve to 9 and 2. They've been un they remain unbeaten at home. Andrew Mitchell inbounds to Jack Altman. Altman floats it over to Dalzell across half court. Dalzell swings it over to 34 from the corner. No good three pointer. The team really wants a basket from him. And Nicholas dribbles across half court, drives in, goes for the layup, no good. But we've got a foul on Charles Nicholas on the rebound. Charles Nicholas, his first, 
and that'll be Nicholas's first foul. And Miles Fenzi is the name of number 34. I might be messing up the exact pronunciation. I'm getting it from the PA announcer, but he will be going to the line for a one and one. After the seventh foul by Walpole, he goes for the first and hits it. And the bench goes wild for Brookline. That's what teams always love to see. They love to see the guys who work hard in practice, hardly get any time in the game, make a bucket. He goes for a second one, no good, but he hits the first of the one and one and got his first point. Charles Nicholas dribbling fast. He goes for the shot, rejected by Abram Richardson. What a game Richardson's been having on the defensive side and on the offensive side as well with a number of uh, fine offensive rebounds. Nicholas looking for the inbound. He gives it over to McGain in the corner. McGain dribbles around, goes inside. It looks like he will draw the foul. Uh, Miles Frenzy, his second, team seven. And that'll be on Miles Frenzy, his second yeah, foul the of the game. And now both teams in the bonus with just 21.5 seconds left. A 78 to 45 score in favor of Brookline. Jack McGain goes for his first free throw and hits it. Gain goes up for his second free throw and hits that one. 78 to 47 the score, 21.5 seconds left. Inbound to Andrew Mitchell who passes to Dalzell. Back to Mitchell who brings it across half court. And it looks like they're just gonna dribble this one out as we've only got about 10 seconds left. Charles Nicholas defending Mitchell and he passes over to Dalzell who then swings it back over to Mitchell. Nicholas trying to defend aggressively. He gets the ball away from Mitchell. Puts up a buzzer beater. And it's good, but it doesn't. It doesn't matter much. You heard that final score from the PA announcer: Brookline Warriors 78, Walpole Rebels 49. Brookline improves its record to nine and two as Walpole falls to one and ten. Brookline has now won four straight and is a perfect four and zero at home thus far. They will have their final game of the homestand Friday night against Framingham back here at Schlunt's Gym with a tip-off set for 6.30 p.m. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Thank you for listening to the game. I will be back with my post-game wrap-up right after a short break. Hello, I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan back here at Schlunt's Gym. I'm talking with Brookline head coach Courtney Valentine. Uh, Coach, that was a win where you got to give everyone a chance to play and see what you got. You know, what did you think of your guys today? Well, the effort was good. You know, these guys, they earned the right to get out here and get some playing time. You know, our starters did their job. So, you know, when they're doing their job like that, I want to give everyone an opportunity to play. Yes. You know, like I said, we run a lot, we practice hard. These guys earned the right to get playing time. And if I can't find it against some of the tougher teams in the Bay State, then you know what? These are the opportunities. I'm going to take any chance I can to give them playing time. And they, they showed up. Absolutely. And you talk about the starters taking care of it. One of the things that really impressed me, the second quarter you start out with your backups. It's still a single-digit game. The starters come in, and they outscore them, I think, 15-2 to two the rest of the way. Um, that, that, to me, really seemed like it set the tone. It showed the backups. This is what we expect you to do. So when you talk about your starters playing the way you want, that's that's what you want. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's exactly what I said to the team on the bench. I said, when you come in, the expectation is there is no drop off. The expectation is whether you're a starter, second string, third string, it doesn't matter. We have high expectations here. When you get in the game and you get that opportunity, you want more minutes? Show me that you deserve those minutes. And that's exactly what the, the starting unit did. They came in, showed them, and then it was perfect. Right yes. on cue. You know, perfect yeah. timing. There are a number of backups we could talk about today. Abram Richardson with uh, several mm -hmm. nice offensive boards, a number mm -hmm. of heads-up deflections by guys like Theo Murray, mm -hmm. some nice blocks by guys like Dalzell. We could go oh, yeah. on and on. Oh. But I think one of the favorites from the bench and the stands, Miles <laughs> Finzi, a guy who wasn't even on the roster that they handed out at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. He comes in and at the end finally manages to get that free throw everybody was uh, hoping to see him get. Absolutely. Miles Finzi, so he was in concussion protocol from football season, and um, he was, you know, hurt for, I want to say, a couple months, and he just finally got cleared. You know, before the season started, he was like, Coach, 
I just want to go in there, bang with some big guys, and grab rebounds and play defense hard. I said, you know what? Who doesn't like a dirt dog? So I said, why not? You know what? Kept him around, and, you know, like I said, today's the first game that he's actually cleared to play in. And the best part is we always talk about we versus me. The bench <laughs> started cheering. We want Finzi. When the bench, his teammates, his peers, start cheering for him, I have no option but to put him in the gas. Yes. Not to mention, he's been in here even while on concussion protocol. He was able to run. He's been doing the conditioning, working out as light as possible. But you know, he did everything. He earned the right to get those minutes today. And you know what's the most fitting for a dirt dog like that? Mm. He got to the free throw line off a rebound. Absolutely. Oh, man. He, he did exactly what he told me he was going to do, come yep. in and get rebounds. Exactly. You know? Well, Coach, you guys are now 3-0 and so far on this homestand, uh, four-game win streak. You're heading into the last game of this homestand mm -hmm. against Framingham Friday night. It was a very well-coached team. Mike Goslin uh, does a great job with those guys. They always get up for us, no matter what the talent level is in Brookline. Framingham always comes in here and gives us a tough game. Yep. Well, you've got a long cast of guys that we now know can score all mm -hmm. the way up and down the roster sheet. Absolutely. So uh, hope to see you Friday night, Coach. Absolutely. For Thank another you so great much. Game. Thank Go you and congrats Warriors. on the win. That was Brookline High School coach Courtney Valentine coming off a very dominant Brookline win. The final score, the Brookline Warriors 78, the Walpole Rebels 49. As we look at the final box score, uh, and, for Brookline, and for Walpole we'll start with the leading scorer it looks like Ryan King finished with nine points seven of which came in the first half and it included one of the team's three pointers and then Drew Von Klock who started to come alive in the second half he finished with nine points as well seven of which came in the second half so they sort of traded off there Jack McGain with four points all at the free throw line Haydar Farage with a total of seven points um, Jean-Luca Gonser finished with six, all in the second half. Charles Nicholas with his two points at the buzzer beater there as he kept playing until the final buzzer. And TJ Farrell finished with six points. Pat Flynn with two, and Neil Flynn with four. So that wraps up the scoring for Walpole as we take a look at the Brookline final box score. Let's give this a read here. Ben Murray. He finished with 14 points, all of them in the first half, as the starters didn't get too much playing time in the second half. Theo Murray, Ben's younger brother, got three points in the first half, then followed up with six in the second half to finish with a total of nine. Ben Ordonez had just two points, a bucket he hit in the third quarter, a rather easy one uh, on a fast break. Bryce Burke, one of the other starters, he finished with a total of six, uh, eight points, all in the first half as well, four off of free throws. Lucio Dulce Brown also with eight points, also all in the first half. We got six points from Andrew Mitchell, four of which came in the second half. Miles Avalon finished with four points all in the second half. Devani Perez finished with six points as well, four in the second half. Daniel Dalzell finished with seven points and a couple of nice blocks. Abram Richardson, who fought for so many boards and a couple of blocks, he finishes with seven points. And Alex Socorro finished with six. And Miles Finzi, the bench favorite who finally got some minutes in there, he finished with one point off of a free throw, much to the pleasure of the Brookline players and fans. So that'll do it. For this game, Brookline 78, Walpole, Walpole 49. The Warriors will return to, here to Schlunt's Gym Friday night for a 6.30 tip-off against Framingham to try and keep their four-game win streak alive and extend it to five. Their record improves to 9-2 and two on the season, while Walpole falls to 1-10. and ten. I am Jesse Mayfield Sheehan here in Brookline, Massachusetts. Thank you all for listening.